We begin with controversy over the arrest seen on video of a man from Wilmington, Delaware. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Tonight, Wilmington's mayor is addressing this video. It shows an officer grabbing the man, then banging his head on plexiglass inside a convenience store. Matt Petrillo is live outside Wilmington Police Headquarters with the story. Matt? Jessa and Yuki, that video was initially posted by Kobe Owens of the NAACP. He wants to see that officer fired. Police, though, haven't yet released the officer's name as they investigate this incident. Security video shows a man identified as 44 year old Dwayne Brown giving money to a cashier here at Three Seas Food Market in Wilmington's Southbridge neighborhood back on Tuesday, September 21st. Shortly after, Wilmington police say one of their own officers walks in. The two appear to exchange words. Then you can see the officer grab Brown by the arm. Moments later, the officer pushes Brown's body against the cashier's barrier before banging his head against. It. Deeply concerning. The Wilmington mayor has seen the video but says he's limited in what he can say about it. It's a due process that everybody's entitled to. We want to respect. Uh Respect all the parties involved. But to Kobe Owens of the Delaware NAACP, in his opinion, the video is clear. There was no reason um, for the officer to use that much force to bang his head on the um, counter. Um, and then take them down to the ground like that. Wilmington police say officers initially received a call from a daycare center about a man who had been making sexual comments towards staff, even in front of children. Police identified that suspect as Dwayne Brown before finding him inside the convenience store. Brown now faces harassment and other charges. But in a statement, Wilmington police added, we will conduct a thorough investigation and take any necessary action to ensure all of our members adhere to the highest standards of service to our community. And Wilmington police also tell us that officer is on administrative leave pending the outcome of the internal investigation. Live in Wilmington, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you.